gang, my name is Mike Aiello with Universal Orlando's Halloween Horror Nights. I'm the creative director and we've got an amazing event for you. But right now you're watching Pavlina's Kids Place. Hey everyone, it's Pavlina from Pavlina's Kids Place and I am here in Orlando, Universal Orlando and I'm already freaking out if you can't tell, okay? So I'm part of the press trip and part of the press, you know, we get to do a lot of exciting stuff. And one of the exciting things we get to do is talk with the creative director of Halloween Horror Nights. Mike Aiello, how are you doing? I'm great, how are you? I am, I'm already scared. <laughs> we were walking through and I was like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. So this is, this is crazy. So what is like the coolest thing about Halloween Horror Nights this year? Um, I think it's the amount of just different things we have at the event this year. I mean, you're going to walk into environments you know from TV like Walking Dead yeah. or movies you might know like Aliens versus Predator or Halloween. Yeah. And they're all just different environments. And they're populated with these really authentic characters that mm -hmm. all their whole, their whole purpose is just to jump out and scare yeah. the daylights out of you. It's already worked, so yeah. there you go. Like, I'm already having a couple heart attacks, <laughs> and I scare easily, so it's like, oh. Um, so I know a lot of kids, you know, from my school, mm -hmm. uh, like, because I'm in high school, like, they're all going to be here. This is, like, mm -hmm. the favorite event. Like, I was in math one time, and everyone was like, oh, you guys going to Halloween Horror Nights? And everyone was like, yeah. And I was like, well, there you go. <laughs> so you started, what, like, 18 years ago as a skipper for Jaws. I did. Yeah. yeah. So You're how? <laughs> yeah. 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 So how did you, like, get into this and create such an amazing event that everyone wants to go to? Well, yeah, like, I started in high school. I was in high school. I started at Jaws uh, on the boats, shooting Jaws like 80 times an hour. And, uh, and uh, but I've always loved horror. Yeah. And I, I started here as a character. I was one of the performers in the mazes that would, you know, hit a trigger and sound effect would happen. And I'd jump out and, and scare you. And I kind of, I, I kind of caught the bug about about the horror events. And um, and then just started wanting to learn more. Like I, I studied uh, writing and studied directing and and character creation. I don't draw, but I, I write. But um, but the really cool thing is, is I was able to kind of surround myself with other people that work here that also have the same passion. Yeah. So you know, this event was already going on. And I in 2003, I had the opportunity to actually become one of the creators of, of one of the mazes that year. And it's just kind of built over time. Just you know. The biggest thing I think, whenever anybody asks me, like, how do you get to do something like this or anything like this, it's a lot of passion. Just yeah. being having passion, having drive, seeing a goal and going, you know, I'm going to try that, yeah. and not being afraid to fail either. Yeah. You know, just yeah. putting yourself out there and saying, you know, I'm going I'm to try this thing. Yeah, you know, that's some great advice for some high schoolers out there. That's great. So. Oh my gosh, okay, there's a lot of like different mazes, kind of like what you were talking about a little bit before. What is like your favorite maze and how did you like come up with like ideas for it and like getting The Walking Dead here, how did all of that happen? Yeah, well Walking Dead, this is our third time yeah. with uh, AMC and they're they're really great with us. Um, they, they said, hey, if you want to do another maze, you know, we've got season four happening. Yeah. Um, they told us it's probably more environments than we've ever done in the series because if you haven't seen the show, like a lot of the survivors have to kind of split off and go to different areas until they converge on, on a place mm -hmm. called Terminus. Yeah. So it kind of set up a really neat scenario for our maze where we could do a lot of different environments but we also knew they were a lot bigger than we've done in the past so we had to really take take that consideration and create a maze that is the largest longest and most populated walking dead maze we've ever done there are 60 plus walkers in this maze when you walk through uh, and their, their their eyes are set for you as oh you're going through God. all these environments huge environments we've got a supermarket that literally is the size of a supermarket with a helicopter coming through the ceiling um, it's oh it's a, it, they're immense. Yeah. Um, so that, that that's probably one of my favorites. And then uh, Halloween is yes. probably my <laughs> second favorite because it is uh, a classic horror film. Yeah. It started the kind of slasher film genre, mm -hmm. you know, for the Freddy Kruegers, the Jasons. All you know, Michael Myers was one of the first. Yeah. And it's a really great maze. It's probably one of our most popular because it's very confining. It's mm -hmm. a, you know you're walking through these these hallways and these environments that are very small. Oh, yeah. And yeah. Myers is right there around every corner. And the stingers that happen, the audio that occurs when he jumps out is just as frightening as him mm -hmm. so it's a lot of great jump scares in that yeah. maze and really detailed yeah. it's just fun you know for, for for a few minutes you're kind of in a whole different place and you don't exactly know what's around every corner what's yeah. in the shadows and it's it's nice yeah. it's fun definitely you have a lot of like secret oh gosh you know yeah. you know what I mean so there's a lot that goes into this like you said like with the huge supermarket and the helicopter coming in is it like Halloween all year round for you like you know like how long is it planning this this is a year I mean yeah. every year we, we already started next year's event wow. um, so it, it's over a year to kind of from day one till to opening day. Um, and it starts very small as far as the team and then grows and grows as we get towards the October, September, October months. Yeah. And there's hundreds of people working on this event from, from construction to technicians to lighting people, audio. It is really an army of really passionate, really creative people that come together and create Halloween Horror Nights. Yeah. 
Has there ever been like something happen, like and something you had to change something like really last minute kind of thing? Sure. Yeah, yeah. That, that's the cool thing about entertainment is, you know, we'll we'll, we'll kind of be set in our in our in stone to a mm -hmm. certain point, and then something will shift, and we got to react to that. Yeah. It's also very terrifying at times, depending on the, on the, the level of change. But also too, it makes it interesting because we're we are, we're always on our toes. Yes. You never we never know quite what to expect at the event, and even once it opens, once we get guests going through the mazes, yeah. we're still tweaking, we're still changing because yeah. that's when these mazes come to life is when our guests are able to kind of go through them for the first time, yeah. and we identify scares that are really working, and there's some things that we could make better. Yeah. And we're we're constantly tweaking throughout the the, the length of the event, changing little things. Mm -hmm. um, even in our rooms, we've got places where we've got performers that could be, but we don't have them there yet. So halfway oh, yeah. through the event, we'll change some things up. Yeah. If you come back, you know, let's say you came at the beginning of the event and then come back in the middle, the scares might be different when you come through. Oh, so it's never like the same thing, you know? Uh, yeah, potentially, yeah. Yeah, so it's always improving. That's great. I hope someone knows some CPR because <laughs> I might have a heart attack. Eh, you know, whatever. We have specialists yeah. standing by. <laughs> oh, good. Okay. Well, thank you so much <laughs> for talking. You're welcome. You're very welcome. with the makeup artist who did my crazy gash and she's doing another busted lip for her. So and I'm here with Sarah, how are you doing? I'm doing great, how are you doing? I'm good, thank you. When you were doing mine, you had like this like bucket of uh, like jelly blood stuff. It was kind of creepy just like in itself. So like what is that and can you like kind of explain that? Yeah, there's all different kinds of blood product makeups yeah. that are used and there's thin bloods and thick bloods and jelly bloods and you know different colors and all different kinds of crazy things but this was just one of my favorites yeah. and it just I just think it works really well to create just a goopy kind of nasty cut and I think you're pulling it off really nicely oh, yeah <laughs> always smiling <laughs> so that's that's crazy so how do you like you know do you ever like look at a person and be like oh they look really good with a busted lip you know like <laughs> no I don't but oh, you know, they have a good face shape for yes. this kind of thing yeah, or for that cool. kind of thing, mm -hmm. but... Totally. Do you just do, like, horror stuff, or do you go into, like, you know, Christmas and every other kind of genre? I do all different kinds of makeup, yeah. and yeah. I really enjoy it. Yeah. Is, like, horror your favorite? It is. Yeah. It is definitely my favorite. I'm here with the fifth season winner of Face Off, Laura Tyler. How are you doing? I'm great. I'm yeah. wonderful today. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Has it been a crazy busy day doing all the makeup for everyone? Oh, yeah. It, it, well, uh, luckily I only had to do her today oh, really? for this event, mm -hmm. um, but, but just one prosthetic is uh, more than enough. <laughs> yes, definitely. I, I could believe that and everything, so that's crazy. How long have you been, get, like, doing makeup, and, like, why did you choose, like, horror instead? of like some you know like other kind of makeup I have been doing makeup since I was about 16 or 17 years old um, I started in high school in the theater program uh, we did simple highlight and shadow and then my mother for Christmas one year she bought me a airbrush machine and oh uh, I you know randomly brought in uh, photos of all my work that I had done in high school to you know, to Halloween Horror Nights and didn't expect to get a job, didn't expect them to like think of me seriously mm -hmm. at all, but they did end up hiring me, luckily, <laughs> and it started this um, this snowball of a crazy career yeah. choice that I have now. I know, definitely. And winning Face Off, how was that? And like, how did you get into like that show and everything? That's amazing. Man, uh, they had auditions back in... Oh, I can't remember when they had auditions. I think it was like 2011. They oh, wow. uh, they they were going through Orlando. Um, I'd already been doing makeup uh, here for about seven or eight years, um, various uh, events, not just Halloween Horror Nights. Yeah. But um, you know, they came through, and I was just like, yeah, sure. My husband, yeah. uh, my my now husband, was mm -hmm. like, yeah, go for it, mm -hmm. went for it. They liked me, and um, you know, the rest is history. It was really yeah. that easy. Just go out and try it. it I think the hardest part was getting over the fear to put yourself out on a public forum you know it's just like get out from behind the camera and get yeah. in front of it but um, you know it, the, the reward has been greater yeah. than the fear so I'm yeah. glad that I did it definitely I would be shaking like trying to put some eyes you know I'd be like oh no idea <laughs> yeah. it was scary yeah, scary definitely. So I got like a little gash on my face. Was it hard? Oh, no, thanks. <laughs> yeah. No, I mean, it's horrible. No, no, <laughs> you know, it's my everyday look, so. Yeah. Yeah. It must have hurt. 
Yeah, it looks it sore. Would, it, yeah, it's you know it's kind of numb now, so I don't really feel it. Oh, good, yeah. good, good, good. You know, yeah. we don't have to take you to the doctor. You can still no. go around to the horror yeah. houses, and it's okay. that's all right. All right, yeah. good. No, whatever. I think I have some bit. Who cares? Yeah. But <laughs> whatever. So, was there like a technique that was always like really hard for you to like learn or anything like that, or was that, did everything just come really easily for you? Um, you know, the be the hardest technique is blending the edges with the prosthetic. Really? When the prosthetic comes out fresh to you, sometimes you get good edges, sometimes you don't. And the tricks that you learn in a horror venue or a haunted house venue um, to try to get over those, if you, you know, if you have a big edge or, or something that's not supposed to be there and you have to overcome that, um, learning ways to hide it or to get around it, it was probably the most difficult. But... Um, yeah, it, it, you just have to have a keen artistic eye, and that all comes back to going to art class yeah. in high school, you know, learning your color theory, learning your basics, mm -hmm. and um, having good instincts where the character is concerned, yeah. and just developing the character itself, you know, making a story around whatever makeup you're putting on their face. Yeah. Definitely. I, I'm really bad with makeup just in general, so I'm just like, I don't know what I'm doing, you know? Oh. So that's, that's awesome, yeah. Uh, any, anybody who spends 10 years doing it, you'll, yeah. you, you'll be yeah. professional. Definitely. Well, thank you so much for talking to me. Thank you, you guys, for coming. This has been really fun. With the hair designer of everything Halloween Horror Nights, right? Karina Smith. How are you doing? I'm fine, thank you. Yeah. I'm doing great. Definitely. Have mm -hmm. you done a lot of hair and got, got yeah, everyone scary? Hair. Yes, Lots of hair, everybody. Yeah. I have a lot of hair, so yeah. we're gonna have to work something wow. out. Wow. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> definitely. <laughs> so, how did you get into like really like doing a lot of hair stuff and like have you just always liked to like you know? Do something? I did. I always like doing hair. I'm a hairstylist, so I, I'm a cosmetologist, so I do a little bit of makeup, and then I do a lot of hair, so I do, started doing all of the wigs oh, yeah. for the park. So I do all the regular wigs, and then on top of that, every special event, like Grinchmas, Halloween, mm -hmm. and Mardi Gras, yeah. so I do yeah. all of those wigs. Oh my gosh, that's crazy. That must be a lot of fun, like, all year round to like, do different it's stuff. so much fun, mm -hmm. because they're different, every single one of them. Yes. Yes, yeah. and this, this is, like, the best. I love of doing this. Yeah, Halloween Horror Nights is your favorite? Yeah, it's my yeah. favorite because mm -hmm. it's you don't have to think hard of what yeah. style you you need. You yeah. know, it just comes to you. Yeah. yeah, because everything is very messy. So yes. you don't you don't have to create beautiful style and worry about one hair sticking out or yeah. something. So you don't exactly. have to worry about that. Yeah, you so got hair sticking out. It's exactly. okay. Like it was meant to be like that. Exactly. Yeah.